Many women across Africa use unregulated skin bleaching products in a bid to fit into perceived standards of beauty that put more value on fairer skin than dark ones. In the West African country of Ghana, authorities have banned the use of these products and a film producer is using animation to educate both men and women about loving the skin they are in. I was young, my mother bought me a black Barbie. I want the white one! Ghanaian filmmaker Comfort Arthur tells the story of a young girl who grows up thinking she's not beautiful. It was Black Barbie pleasure. is a reflection but of her life in a family with light-skinned siblings. The short animation is aimed at fighting skin bleaching and teaching women and girls that dark skin is perfect. The animator and illustrator decided to produce the film after noticing that her cousin was also going through a similar experience. It's taken me a while to accept that, you know, dark is beautiful. I mean, I grew up um, wishing I was lighter. And, you know, sometimes it's not in my... It's not... I don't blame people that bleach sometimes because it's what we see around us. You get images of light-skinned girls. You, if you watch music videos, it's always light-skinned girls. If you watch um, singers, light-skinned girls with straight hair. So these are images that are always being bombarded to us, that this is the, um, the, the um, European beauty, the standard of beauty that us black girls are seeing. The film has received very various awards, including the 2016 Ghana Movie Awards. Um, people are using um, these products on their skin and it's having a lot of effect, both physically on their skin and also emotionally. And I you want to, um, Black Barbie, the film that I did, I wanted to educate um, the viewers about self-love to love the skin that you are in, regardless of what shade you are in. Skin lightening side effects has been linked to health threatening conditions, ranging from scarring, darkening skin, to infections and high blood pressure. Skin is the largest organ of the body. And under your skin, and where you have a lot of blood vessels, so when you apply these creams all over the body, because the majority of them do it from the face, the hands, they are absorbed in the bloodstream. And since some of these creams they use for bleaching contain metals, heavy metals like mercury, lead, they are absorbed in the bloodstream. And they affect your brain, they affect your kidney, and they also affect your liver. For many, they just love their skin. For me, it doesn't matter which skin color you were born with. I can be in a music video that the artist wants me to be. If the artist prefers the light-skinned lady, he can go for her, but I don't really mind. This is my skin color. I like it the way it is. It draws attention from, from me, from people, and then it's also attractive, and I feel it gives me some favor. And yeah, so that's why I prefer my color. African markets continue to be flooded with these creams, pills, and soaps. There has been some progress in creating awareness about the harmful effect of skin bleaching and analysts say the most effective way is to drive messages against the aesthetic belief that beauty is skin deep. Like they say, black is beautiful. And that's a wrap on the program Network Africa. Many thanks for watching. I'm Ayotunde Balupu.